I had been pinned in my truck for six days. I am crying out for help. So I could tell that days were going by. I didn't have any food in there. My mind was still on survival and still trying to get out of that situation. I just didn't want to die. December 21st, I was going to drive from Indiana to Missouri. It was a really foggy night and uh, I see something that I think is a deer. And so I swerved to miss it. And when I swerved, I went onto the shoulder of the road. And as soon as I did that, the guardrail had kind of popped back up onto the road because it was going around a curve and there was a bridge. And that's when I started going down the hill underneath the bridge where I had wrecked and rolled my truck twice. So my steering wheel was pressed up against my right leg. So all the air conditioning um, from underneath the dash, that was pushed into my legs. The main support pillar that holds your driver's side door, that had been pushed into my leg. So, that's what was essentially trapping me in that position. The first day, I was basically just trying to assess my surroundings, figure out what was going on. And then the entire time, I am crying out for help. I'm doing this kind of intermittently for hours to the point where I'm just exhausted. I had a little journal that I was trying to keep notes in or so I could tell that days were going by the day of the rescue was on December 26th these two gentlemen one of them had spotted something shiny and was like hey let's go check that out and they realized that what was shiny was a truck that had been uh, wrecked oh there's a person in here and they realized I'd been down there for six days and they start calling the, the police they flew me by helicopter to the hospital the first couple days in the hospital are kind of fuzzy just due to being on painkillers. The doctor said that basically they have to cut my foot off. I was in the hospital for three weeks. Some parts of the recovery process have been hard, but I had an amazing team of doctors, therapists, and nurses who were helping me. I have so many people saying that my stories helped them so much. I'm an inspiration to so many people and I never thought that I would be able to help as many people as I am right now. And it's really bolstering to my own mental health, seeing the impact that I'm making. I am seeing, are you?